Hello everyone, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today and welcome to another Lollipop Speed Art and this is a very special Speed Art um, two-parter. We are doing Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses. Now this is a movie that I watched during my childhood and I did have some of the dolls so let's get into it. The first princess I'm doing is Ashlyn, the oldest. And I do try to keep it true. And I had like some inspirations from Smirks, um, historically accurate uh, Barbie heroines, and plus descriptions of each princess on the fandom wiki that I looked up to refresh my memory. So Ashlyn is the musically talented one, and she's the most mature of the sisters. Very respectful, honest. And her flower is a, a germanium, which is this reddish purple. It comes in different colors. And her color scheme's purple. And her gemstone's garnet, which is this purplish red gem. Not a, like, a, not like a ruby. So that's why I did decide to give her a necklace and some earrings in there. So another fact about Ashlyn is that she is close to her two younger sisters Blair and Courtney which we'll be getting to in a bit but um, Ashlyn plays musical instruments her favorite being the flute and this is where the influence comes from it she's more historically accurate but I still maintained her hairstyle and her physical appearance in here so I um, the one thing I did ha I did not like was the eyes, but I did add like some gold details to her skirt, and that is Ashlyn right there. So next up is Princess Blair. Now Blair is the second oldest, a year younger than Ashlyn. She's the one with the black, um, black br like the dark brown that's close to a black. Her flowers are larkspur and her gems are ruby, and that explains in her dress, her color scheme. She loves horseback riding. Um, she's a romantic. She loves to daydream. Um, that's why she's holding like some rope in her hand. Like I guess she would like manage the royal stables. Like once, you know, like if you watch the movie, you know, Duchess Rowena was a total. Um, bleep a bleep to these girls because they're all individual women and all that stuff so basically I'm giving her ruby a ruby necklace and ruby earrings and her of course her red um, headband and now I'm doing her dress right now I didn't I wish I could have made her a bit taller yeah so I of course I do critique myself so I wish I could have made her taller, so, but I did make her accurate to what she looked like in the movie and also historically accurate to the inspirations that I was looking at. Like I made her sleeves a bit like very light with the, the red details and all that stuff. And I'm doing the shading and such. And I, of course, I, again, like I said, she loves horse. She rides horses even in her dress um in her dress and that's why like you would see her have like mud all over her dress but she's i don't care like no care no worries i'm having fun so i would guess she would like manage the royal stables um like because she loves horses so much horseback riding and that's the rope is for the horses like to like escort the horses train them all that I gave her a red background and that is a Blair right there so next we get to the last of the three oldest we have Princess Courtney and Courtney's the brun the first brun like the truly brunette but she is the belle of the group no I'm serious Courtney is like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And here's a couple reasons why. One, they're both brunettes. Two, they wear blue. 
like you know, Belle's Village outfit and Courtney wears blue. And the biggest one is that they love reading. Courtney is a total bookworm in the film, in Barbie in the 12 Dancing Princesses. She's a total bookworm to the point where she sometimes is oblivious. She can bump into things. And that would be why like her sisters would tap her on the shoulders, be like, uh, watch where you're going, bring her down to earth. But she's the calmest of the sisters. So anyways, like I gave her sapphire um, necklace and earrings. That's her favorite gem. And I do give her her blue dress. I actually enjoy doing Courtney a lot. Like even though she wears a bun and all. But I love, blue is one of my favorite colors. Aside from pink and turquoise and all that stuff. So I had a lot of fun doing Courtney color scene because the gold and the blue just go well even though blue is a compliment to orange but who cares her flower is a forget me not and that is an actual flower I looked it up I I think I was like just oblivious but it isn't but for those that don't know it is an actual flower and that is her favorite and it goes with the theme that it's all blue all calming she's the calmest of the sisters and she's also smart and outspoken she's also smart when she actually does correct her cousin Rowena when she mistakenly calls her Lacey and I'm gonna be doing Lacey in a later in the second part as well as our main protagonist Genevieve she's gonna be in the second part so here's Courtney completed and next we get to our first set of twins so the first one I'm do first of the twins is Dahlia, and she and her twin sister Adeline, Adeline do love to play quartet. They're the sporty of the group, but they're fraternal twins, obviously, because Dahlia has green eyes and blonde hair, actually like Princess Peach blonde, according to the description compared to the other blonde girls and she wears green or chariot whatever the heck the color is her gemstone is a prairie dot or actually, and her flower is a sunflower she's hot-headed and adventurous but she's also protective of Genevieve like when uh, Marwina was going to lock all the sisters in, if you remember, and I also, like, reference, like, to refresh my memory. She, like, defends her, you know, and this is the biggest mistake. I forgot to film the shading of the dress, but I did get to, um, film the shading of the sunflower and her corquette, uh, stick that she plays corquette with, with her sister, and that is it for... Dahlia right there and yeah the transitions are annoying but anyways next is her twin sister Adeline and again back on to the fraternal twins aspect um first physical appearance she wears orange and her gem is a citron and her flower is a honeysuckle she wears orange we all know that. And I have her feet peeking in this in the fin final piece. She's also more of an auburn. She has more auburn hair. Auburn brown. Br light brown eyes. Kind of close to a hazel. For m to me. And she's more natural. And she's also a bit more messy and disorganized. But who cares? She also has a sense of humor. And if you remember from the movie, um, she and Dahlia do lo love to play croquette anywhere. And even if you don't see it in the movie, it did have it on the website. They do enjoy playing badminton, but they do play croquette in the movie a lot, especially in their father's throne room and all that. It, that was actually like interesting to note. She also has a tan headband, by the way. So now I'm doing the dress part and I do a lot of cleanup a lot in this and I actually like did like movement of the skirt 
like it's raised up a bit and her feet are, pe- are one foot is peeking out and I mean I it's so funny it was like I made her look like oh you want to play you want to try me a corquette me and my six- sister will beat you Anyways, from what I saw, she and uh, Dahlia are both 19, and the two, the three eldest are in their 20s in the movie. I don't know if that reigns true here. So, that was actually funny to note. So, I had a hard time doing the honeysuckle of her dress, and I did miss some spots, but I did fix it, and... We are complete with um, Adeline. It's exactly how it sounds. Adeline, like Ed Aline. It runs with Madeline, but here, here she she is completed. Next is Fallon. Oh, the romantic one of the bunch. She loves like her big sister Ashlyn. She does love music. She's another. She's actually is seventeen in the movie but her favorite gem is pearls i gave her pink pearl necklaces but as you will see later um she her flower is a camellia which is kind of a carnation type flower she has brown eyes and blonde ashy blonde hair and she reminds me of liliana my, my oc from the secrets and sides trilogy my story series on tv and art and as all again all these will be up on my are up on my tv and art it's down in the description so for fallon she loves to sing she does sing she plays the harp she's holding a harp in her hand and her she her favorite color is pink well not the pink that genevieve it has but more of a fuchsia pink here and she loves animals she's compassionate understanding but she can also tell when people are lying it's like especially when genevieve has a has that crush on derek and she denies it you know traditional lovey dovey stuff and Val- fallon's like no i think you're lying i know oh, you like him but she's a, a, she's a year older than genevieve she's 17 but i believe more that she's 18 at least 18 and Genevieve's 17 have you realized that uh, all the Barbie heroines are like 16 but I realized I made like this highlighting a bit too pink but here's the final piece and I did darken it up so that's the video stay tuned for part two did you enjoy the video please comment and like this video and subscribe for more content like this and also follow me on instagram twitter and deviantart for updates artwork and stories and much more i hope to see you all for the next video peace